Hello, I'm Bex with Black Whisper Crafts. That's B-E-X-X -X with Black Whisper Crafts. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I am really excited. I'm participating in hashtag Tassel Tuesday, which is a collaboration which is hosted. It's an open collaboration which is hosted by Veronica at Christie's Crazy Crafty Life and Jovi at Creating with Jovi. And it is on the first Tuesday of the month through March. This month, January, is Crafter's Choice. So I'm so happy to be participating because some of the, um, uh, I don't know how you say the word, some of the themes are just not things that I uh, have crafting supplies for or just don't have a need for it, but January is Crafter's Choice, so I was so excited. Get to join Tassel Tuesday, hosted by Veronica at Christie's Crazy Crafty Life and Jovi at Creating with Jovi. Let me get right into it. I use all of these ribbons and laces and trims. Just tell you really quickly and then I'll show you what I did. This one is really wide, so I cut this one uh, in fourths. And these I left the same size, the brown and the black sheer. This one I will show you in a moment. And of course, this wonderful eyelash lace, love it, just love it. And this one I cut in half, this gold. And this gold here, I also, I think I cut it in thirds. I might have cut it four ways. Anyway, and I used these, which are brass, and these are called book rings. They're the ones you just pull them apart really easy, and you can put them back together. I use those, and I use some Tim Holtz ones too, the little teeny tiny ones. Use these little spacer beads. Whoops, that was really loud. And I have two different keys, the bronze ones and kind of the antique gold ones that I use really like them. I love keys. I love antique keys the best. But let me get these out of the way. Get these out of the way real quick here. Just pull them out of the way. Here we go. Let's move everything. But this one is my favorite. So what I love to do is cut it in half. You see there's kind of a line there. Right there, a line. But my favorite thing is just to tear it in half. Listen. Is that not awesome? That is so satisfying. I just love it. <laughs> and then what I do to make it even narrower, just fold it up upon itself. And I give it a snip. And I have some really thin lace. So I get four different pieces out of just this one large piece. But I love, I buy this ribbon, I think, just so I can tear it like that. It's so fun. Very satisfying. Kind of like bubble wrap if you like to do that. I just had to show that because it's so fun. And this one. It came with something, I don't remember what, some um, wooden pieces to hang up, and I didn't use it for that. But I take this and just twist it. There are three strands in there. So I pull all of these strands apart. So then you have three thinner ones. They're much easier to manage than that really thick if you're making wispy tassels. But that gives you three different strands. And it's easier to thread through beads, too. Just teeny tiny little tips that are fun and helpful. Oh, I did use these, too. These are awesome. But they're wire. So it's really... You can just kind of shape them and put them wherever you want them to be. Perfect, perfect. I like them. Get all of the eyelash trim out of the way. So let me get the first one. Make this one. It's so cute. Little kitty one. I don't want to blind you with the mirror there. 
Put, let me put it up here where you can see it. That is really, really cute. This heart was in some happy mail from Martha at Martha Makes Art. And so was this mirror. Is that not the cutest mirror ever? I'll try to hold my finger in there so it doesn't blind you. But is that not cute? Really, really cute. I really like how it turned out. I haven't made very many tassels. Maybe, maybe two, three, four. Not that many. I usually make dangles, but this is really fun. That one's really pretty. I'm going to turn that mirror over. It's just kind of blinding. Then I made this little one. Just a little bitty one. And I put this key on it. I really like that key. Some eyelash lace and some beads. And some of the material that is on the actual journal that it's for. And then there's some sparkly. And I need one more pretty big one to go on my, I have like four goth journals that I'm working on now. This is for one of those. This has gold and the brown and the black eyelash, eyelash lace or eyelash yarn, eyelash trim. Don't know which one it is for sure. And then there's what it looks like whenever it's cut in force. All kinds on here, but also put the largest key that I had and one of the smaller ones. You can see that one. Then some of the little spacer beads. I just think it looks cute. Just something added on there. Really pretty. They turned out really, really pretty. This turned out really pretty. I like them all. Is that not so pretty? So very pretty. This one is for this journal right here, so I'm going to go ahead and put it on there. And the material underneath here is what I cut these little strips from the leftover material. But let me pop it on here in case someone wonders what you do with these. These are really tough. These are the little Tim Holtz ones, and they are really hard for some reason for me to get on there. I can't really get it on there. Bear with me just a moment. We'll try it again. Okay, that will work. There we go. Whoops. Nope, didn't have it all the way on there. Hold on. I don't, I had to have my Joe get it off for me. I don't know if I can get it on there. There, I did it. <laughs> that is so funny. But there it is. Is that not so cute? Let's get it down here so it's not blinding you. That is so cute. And that is what it will look like. Just right there. Just hanging on there. So cute. But those are my three tassels. For hashtag Tassel Tuesday. Hosted by Veronica at Christie's Crazy Crafty Life. And Jovi. At Creating with Jovi, it, we upload the first Tuesday of the month through March, and this month it was Crafter's Choice, and I will link Veronica's video down below so you can see what the theme is for the uh, next two months, for February and March, and also I will put Jovi's latest video for Tassel Tuesdays down, so she makes some amazing tassels also. Thank you so much, I'm Bex with Black Whisper Crafts, I hope you have a wonderful evening.